Welcome to Adventures with Angela and Wayne. We were childhood sweethearts and become young parents, but our little chicks have found their wings and flown the nest, so we decided to fly too. So this is me, Angela. I have a big passion for travel, new experiences and setting myself personal challenges. But whilst I do the organising and planning, I always take my best buddy along and my hubby Wayne. So this is Wayne. Luckily enough, Wayne also shares my passion and love for adventure, fun and challenges too. We want to give you tips, advice and reviews on all our travels. So come along with us and we will show you what life is like after raising a family. We don't just have one travel style, we have many which we would love to show you along the way. So whether we travel with our suitcases or with our backpacks, take our car on a road trip or even hire a car or take our motorhome. We have stayed in a treehouse in the rainforest, we have stayed on a pod on a lake as well as budget hotels, hostels and luxury hotels. Oh and let's throw a castle in with that too. So we hope you enjoy these adventures with us. Hello, we are now into our next day of our Thailand adventures. We are just leaving Krabi with our hire car to head up to the National Park Koh Suk. Before leaving Anon in Krabi, we went to the local supermarket to grab some supplies to take with us in the car, such as snacks and drink. We also stopped for a while to sort a SIM card out in our phone as we needed this whilst on holiday in Thailand. As we were driving along we felt horrified looking at this little boy with his feet dangling on the floor at the back of his mum and dad's car. Oh boy! We were pleasantly surprised at the roads on the way up to the national park. They were really good. There are buses that leave Krabi that go up to the National Park and obviously this is one in front of us. And as we were driving along, the heavens opened up and the rain poured down, but hey ho, we're heading to a rainforest, so it needs rain. This was when we was really grateful that we'd actually hired a car and not hired mopeds or scooters. At one point we actually pulled over because you couldn't see the road. So as you can see, the rain stopped and the roads dried very quickly. So we're now heading for our hotel on the edge of the National Park near the dam. The National Park Koh Suk is a really big area and we only covered some of it. There's so much more to explore. So after arriving at our resort, we parked in the big main car park and a golf buggy come down to meet us to carry our backpacks to the top. Lovely. Just had a wonderful drive. So we've just driven from uh, Krabby 
two hours up into the national park and we're staying at, I think it's called Beelong Gym. Um, Angela tell you the right name, I don't know. Angela's organized all the places that we're staying. Uh, I'm gonna show you through the room. Now, it's quite a nice place, quite modern. Um, middle of nowhere, so I mean, we're in the national park. Um, really good journey on the way through. It has been raining, it was absolutely pouring down. Uh, all the water was running down the roads and everything. Um, but no, we got here, yeah, so we're all right. Okay, what room are we in? 402, I think. Oh, quite modern, aren't they? We'll show you the bathroom yeah. first. Yeah. So, this is the bathroom. Look how huge that bathroom is. Wow, look at that. Very good. Fresh towels and robes as well. Kids, we haven't got our clothes out. <laughs> Open wardrobe, air conditioning. Air conditioning, hair dryer, which is how you look. Even a little mini fridge. Beautiful bed there. Yeah. And oh, mini fridge. Mini fridge. Oh, look at that. Oh, they've put some beers and stuff in there. Yeah. Kettle, yeah. normal tea and coffee. Nice. I think that's literally on the wall. A, a desk. And yeah, if yeah. you want to do some work. And that's for drying your hair. And then Perfect. the beers to resistance. Oh. Wow. A swim up pool. Look at that. So you got you have to swim up pool. Oh, should we look outside? Yeah, outside this door. Wow. Feel the heat when you're open, Look at that. Swim up pool. Beautiful views. Say so it is a bit rainy today. It's so, so humid because you're in the rainforest, isn't it? Very so humid. humid. This row of rooms here, um, yeah, one long, one long infinity pool um, that people share. But wow, what a balcony! So that's really nice. Uh, what's this hotel called again? Belong Gin Dam. The dam resort, so B Long Gym, and there's a sign ah, across there where you can see. So we're it. probably in B Long Gym. Gin. Gin. B Long Gin, and it's the dam resort. The one that we just come to now, I think this was about sixty odd pounds. Yeah, it was. And the lady just said, we just checked in. The lady said that that didn't include breakfast. Angela thought that it did when she booked, but we check our booking it check anyway. It um, but the breakfast is two hundred bar, which is a fiver each. So if you say with breakfast, it's about £75 a night to stay in this B-Long gym. We got a reduced rate at the moment uh, for about £62, uh, £62. On the website it said it was reduced from 87 But you can always mm. look for offers because there's always offers on the, on the website. So. so we'll have a look round. Yeah. We booked through booking.com, by the way. Yeah. Not an ad. <laughs> yeah, they're not paying us. Not booking.com. <laughs> this is our reception at the Beelong Gear.
ายนี้ฉันก็ไปเที่ยวและไปดื่มน้ำเย็นกับเพื่อนๆ